early the next morning, in the cold light of dawn, Thomas and his friends waited for Spencer. They could see a streak of silver engine puffing towards them. It was Spencer. Thomas felt worried. I can't do this, Percy. Yes, you can, Thomas. You always tell us we can do whatever we want to. So can you. The tracks were cleared for Spencer and Thomas, and both engines were coupled up to their heavy loads. Edward puffed forward. You will each take different tracks round the island. You may only stop for coal and water. Ready, set, go! The contest had begun. Spencer and Thomas pumped their pistons. Thomas puffed off with a heave and a huff. I can do it. I'll puff for longer. I'll show Spencer I really am stronger. Spencer smiled as he slid away. I'll show Thomas who's strong and who's weak. He'll puff home with a squeak and a creak. The other engines watched and worried. Then they blew their whistles long and strong. Good luck, Thomas! Thomas and Spencer puffed round the island. They quickly clapped along the tracks. They whooshed through woods, and they huffed up hills. Spencer steamed and smiled. He raced and he roared. Thomas puffed and huffed. He heaved and he hauled. <laughs> Silly little engine. When will he learn? You can do whatever you want to, and I want to win! Thomas was huffing up a steep slope. He was puffing and panting and his axles ached. At last, he reached the top. Hooray! I did it! Then there was trouble. There was a clang and a prank. Thomas gasped. Cinders and ashes! I've broken my brakes! Thomas's wheels started to whir and to walk. He flew faster and faster down the hill. Oh no! Oh! Help! Thomas raced down one hill and rattled up the next. Help! I can't stop! Thomas's heavy freight cars pushed him on and on. Through a junction where Spencer was waiting, oh, 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 toilets, and into some potato oh, oh, oh. Potatoes bounced everywhere. Thomas sped on into a flatbed of jelly bags. Oh. Sticky jelly flew in the air and landed all over Thomas. But still, he went on and found himself rolling along an old rickety track. Ahead, Thomas could see a thick wall of bushes. Fenders and funnels, how can I stop? With a crunch and a crunch, Thomas crashed along the bushes and came to a stop. Flaming fireboxes, that was scary. Thomas looked around. After the racing and rattling, it was very quiet. Spencer will be back at the shunting yards now. He'll be puffing with pride because he won the contest. And my best friend Percy will be wondering where I am. I don't know where I am.